Sup y'all, today I'm going to teach you how to learn any song completely using Guitar Pro and the uh, tabs from Songster. So what we're going to do is go on guitarpro.com and get the software. Not going to show you the buying process because it's pretty simple and straightforward. All right, so we're going to go to the Songster website. You have to be locked in here or else you can't download the tab. First off, though, you're going to search for these. Uh, OK, thank you. Going to search for this tab that we want to play. Uh, in my case, it's going to be Hammer Smashed Face uh, from Cannibal Corpse. It's a great song. And we're not going to mess around too much in here. We're just going to go here on the edit icon and download the song here. I've already done it. And now we're going to open it in Guitar Pro. There it is. And we're going to select the portion of the song that we want to learn. So here is the portion of the song that I want to learn. Great. And now for better learning effect. Very nice. We're going to single out the guitars here. And it sounds like this. Great. Uh, for this to loop, you have to click this button here. It's the loop function. And maybe if you can't play it at this speed, I mean, it's good to see the taps and you know what to do and whatever, but it's still um, too fast maybe for you. So you're, we're going to click this icon here and we're going to select a different speed. In my case, it's going to be 70. going to try it right there. <laughs> Awesome. Maybe sometimes try without uh, the Guitar Pro software. And try get a feel of it. You know, what you can also do is uh, go with the drum kit. Though in this case, it's, it might be a bit hard. So it's either the drum kit or the metronome function over there. Oops. Hold on. Uh, we're gonna mute. Oh, we're gonna go with this here. Right, that's good enough. And then once you're feeling more confident, you can uh, either remove this uh, thingy right there, or you can set it to a different speed, maybe higher or lower as you wish. Uh, and then once you're done with this part, you can just select the next one. Obviously this is the same, but we're gonna maybe choose this one. I can't actually play this just yet. I would need to practice it too. But with this method, you can basically go through the entire song and learn it in a really short amount of time. And you'll rem remember it too, because it's very intricate because you're doing it so many times. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thanks and see ya.